Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Question Mark. And today, we're filming in front of a live studio audience. We're here at the David Allen Company in Raleigh, North Carolina, where we've just completed an NTCA five-star contractor training program. And two of our trainees at this program were Anders and Kurt. Welcome, guys. Thanks, nice to be here. Good to have you. What we're looking at today are substrate flatness issues. And in particular for this episode, we want to look at installing backer board on a wood framed wall. Now, Anders and Kurt, what I would like to have you do is check this wall for flatness with our 10 foot straight edge. Could you do that for us, please? Sure thing, Mark. Now what Anders and Kurt are discovering is that the stud faces are out of alignment. We had a great carpenter, but the stud faces are not perfectly aligned. So before they get that backer board installed, we want them to shim out the studs. So something they've already done is they've applied some drywall shims, a very common product in many parts of the country. They've got a lot of that applied already, but they have maybe one more left to do. And all they really have to do is staple it up super simple to do couple of staples and that stud face is shimmed out to where it needs to be so now they're ready to put up the backer board and here's what they're going to do they're going to grab their first sheet of backer board bring it over and get it ready to put on the bottom course What they can't do is they can't put it immediately down on top of the floor substrate. So what they're doing, they're putting a couple of quarter inch shims underneath that board because walls move, floors move, buildings are designed to move. So they're shimming it up and giving a change in plane, an open joint to allow for that movement. Now what they're doing is they're bringing out some alkali resistant fasteners and they're going to use these fasteners to fasten that board to the stud faces at the rate of every six to eight inches along the stud. They'll go up to about a half of an inch to one inch from the edge of the board and they'll continue every six to eight inches along each stud. Fantastic. Honors and Kurt did a great job putting this all together. They left their joints open. They got it fastened for the manufacturer's instructions. Now all that's left to do is they need to mix up their thin set using the proper uh, type of thin set and the proper mix ratio, embed it into the joint right here in that gap they left, then apply some of this alkali resistant mesh tape. Stuff like that or stuff like this comes in a couple of different thicknesses, right? So that's good stuff. That's the things we got to do. Anders and Kurt, you guys did a great job. You followed the tile industry standards. And I want to thank you for knowing how to do that, following manufacturer's instructions, coming to you from a studio audience at David Allen Company in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's Question Mark. Tune in and watch us next time.